stuff rack of lamb this good should be illegal. Mm. I'm gonna show you six easy steps to smash out the perfect stuffed rack of lamb. From preparation and seasoning, I'll even show you how long to rest it for and why. So just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. We'll need a rack of lamb for this recipe. Rack of lamb acquired, and as always, Gippsland Premium Meat sorting me out with quality meat. And cuddles, don't forget the cuddles that Mick gives. He's the best in the business. Step one is the stuffing or filling required. Add all these ingredients into a non-reactive bowl and mix up. A non-reactive bowl means not a metal one. As there is citrus in this stuffing and it will react with metal. Pop this aside. Step two is how to trim up the rack of lamb properly. Start by asking your butcher for a French rack of lamb. That just means one that's been all cleaned up and looks pretty, like this one. And then using a sharp knife, you wanna slice into the loin muscle. Just making sure not to slice all the way through. We just wanna be able to flatten this out as much as possible. Now putting the stuffing evenly across the lamb rack and using a bit of force, you wanna roll it up. And then using butcher's twine, we're gonna just tie it up in between each point or each bone, not forgetting to trim off the excess twine. Step three is to add some complementary flavors to the outside. Into a bowl, add all of this and stir it up and then just brush it on. And then we'll just pop this aside while we get the barbecue ready. Step four is how to set up your barbecue correctly. And today I'll be using this kettle shaped barbecue and pairing it up with one charcoal basket because I want to be roasting at temps of 180 degrees Celsius. And how I'll do that is by filling a charcoal basket up with unlit briquettes. That way I know how much I need and I'll dump them into the chimney starter. And I'll light them up and once they're all lashed over, I'll grab my charcoal basket, put it to one side of the charcoal grate and I'll dump the fuel into it. Adding one chunk of smoking pear wood directly to the charcoal. I'll put the grill back in place in a safe and careful manner. And I'll pop the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open and we're gonna let that warm up for 10 minutes. Did you know that pie charts are circular in shape and have no bearing on this cook? Once the grill's warmed up, Place a rack of lamb on the opposite side to the lit fuel. Add an internal temp probe, making sure that it's in the meat. Popping the lid back on, making sure that lid vents over our food. That's gonna draw the heat and smoke over our lamb. Step five is knowing when your lamb is perfectly cooked. How do we know when to take it off the heat though? When it's reading 57 degrees internally. We can then just rest it on a couple of layers of foil. And I say a couple because we don't want these bones sticking through the foil when we wrap it all up. And then we'll wrap this up in an old towel. And the internal temp's gonna keep rising another three or four degrees until we get a perfect medium rare lamb at 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. If you didn't know, Shuey's Barbecue has a thriving Facebook community of people just like you. Well, not like you, Ryan. There's no one like you, silly. Today, I was cooking with an indirect temp of 180 degrees Celsius, and all up, today's cook took 40 minutes. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a 2 beer cook. Cheers. Step six is knowing how long to rest your lamb. And lamb loves to be rested longer. Now I'll let this rack rest for 20 minutes. And now that it's rested, we just want to slice it up and serve that straight away. Cooking your lamb to a medium rare will ensure it stays moist. Smut. 